Let's set up my planner for this week. y'all. I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And this week I am planning in my dashboard layout planner. And I have some neutral books pulled out from Wrong Wrong Devo. Planner Babe seems like a great choice. It's the last week of summer, which I know this is probably like, why is this a, why are you doing a planner babe? Because we're planning all the things for fall. We are in planner mode over here at my house. So it is time uh, to get things organized. And I thought this would be a great theme for the week. So um, all of these are from Wrong Wrong Devo. I do have my affiliate link down below for Wrong Wrong. If you order through my link, it saves you a little bit of extra on your order. So make sure to check that out. All right. I will put you all on fast forward. Let's go. I have switched back to the dashboard layout for the month of August going forward through the rest of the year. I switched to the quad layout during the summer, but I thought now that things are getting busier, we're starting to pick up schedules a little bit. The dashboard layout is really functional for me. It is taking me just a second to get used to planning in this style again. And I know I'm not the only one. I do like switching layouts. I think it keeps things fresh. I think it keeps you interested in your planner. I think it is a great thing to do throughout the year, just depending on the season of life that you are in, but it can give you, um, a, it just takes you a second to figure it out. So what I generally like to do with the dashboard layout, what I love about this one, this is a dashboard layout that I designed that is over on my website. I love the long to-do list because generally on a Sunday afternoon, I sit down and I just kind of go through everything that I can think of that needs to get done that week. I make one huge long running to-do list. I don't always divide it up by day over on the right-hand side. It just helps me to have the big long to-do list on the left-hand side. On the right hand side, that's where I do the schedule. I um, write out what's happening that week, you know, gymnastics and soccer and track, all the different things that are going on. Write out the schedule for the weeks. Um, I make notes if there are any special occasions, birthdays, anniversaries, things like that. And then that part of the setup, that part of the planner on the right hand side with the days of the week is not always complete by a Sunday afternoon. Sometimes I'm adding things through the week. So I leave it a little bit more open so that my planner can continue to work with me throughout the week. It's not a finished product as the week is starting. It's a planner that is meant to adapt and change as our schedule changes, as new activities uh, get added or things get canceled. You can see up in the upper left-hand corner, I've decorated that box as a priorities box. I like to focus on one or two big priorities for the week, whether that might be a task um, for instance, cleaning out the garage or prepping for school, just big priorities, things that I want to wrap my head around this week. Or sometimes in that priority box, I am choosing a focus for my mentality, a focus for the energy I want to bring in that week. So maybe the focus is to have a more peaceful week. Maybe the focus is to be energized and to get things done. Whatever the case may be, um, sometimes I notate that in that area as well. In this case, this is back to school prep week. You know how that goes. So we got to get all the things organized, all the school supplies bought, last minute appointments, everything. I'm sure that will be what the priority is for the week. Now, what else do I use that left-hand section for? You see the to-do list, you see the priority, then there is a bunch of dot grid. I love the flexibility of this area because it allows me to adjust for what I need for this particular week. So it might be that I'm writing out our meal planning for the week. It might be that I have an extra shopping list, for instance, for school supplies. Um, there might be some crossover things that need to happen with work and home. This is my home catch life, catch all planner, but some things I need to keep in mind for work sometimes end up over there. I kind of set it up to give me a little bit of freedom in what I want to notate over there. Plus, I love the ability to decorate this particular section. I like that it's a dot grid, that it's open, um, that it gives you some freedom to adjust as needed, which is kind of one of the keys to me to being a successful planner is the willingness to be 
flexible in how you set things up because lives change even you know, I, of course I have kiddos, so it feels like my life is constantly changing, but it, it doesn't take that. Just life is constantly changing. So it's nice to have a planner that is flexible, um, to help you adjust to those changes. All right. I had some trouble deciding how I was going to do the florals over here. I ended up deciding to go over the top with them. Yes, it is a clear sticker so you can see the box through it, but I still think that just looks better in the end. I like how that came, uh, came together. All right, I want to go to the junk journaling book now. I was all, all of these stickers so far have been from Planner Babe from Rong Rong. Now I'm going over to junk journaling because I wanted to just change it up, get a different feel. This huge double box frame is one of my favorite stickers and I've used it multiple times. And I think this is one of my last ones, which makes me really sad. We're going to have the little planner cluster over here and this sticker perfection. But that also means I need to add some of those junk journaling S stickers over to the right hand side. Um, so I'm going to add a little title box to go here. And then we need to start pulling some of those over to notate the schedule throughout the week. I will end up pulling out my sticker guides before I put this one down. And then I'm like, you know what? I need to make a better plan. So I pull out my sticker guides, start planning out where things are going to go. Um, as I'm filming this video, this is a little bit in advance. So I don't know everything that is happening this week. I know that there's gymnastics because we have gymnastics every week in this household. So I know that there are there will be that. I know Sunday um, will have its own to-do list of sorts because that will be the day before school starts, which is crazy. Um, so I'm trying to plan ahead and uh, figure out what will work best. You can see I'm working with the placement of different things. Where is this all going to work out? I think what I ended up deciding is that these smaller kind of um, antique looking boxes, that is where I will write out the gymnastics schedule for the week. That'll be the last week of the summer schedule. And then I'm going to end up moving that larger box that is on Thursday. It just looks odd right there. It's going to come down to give me some room to notate things on Saturday. So this is one of the reasons I love working with the sticker guides because it gives you the freedom to move things around. I have had some of you ask, where can you get these sticker guides? Head to the Happy Planner website. I have my link for the website down below and just search for sticker guide and you will see them in different sizes. I happen to like using the big size, even though I uh, plan in a classic sized Happy Planner, just think it's easier to use because it covers the page really, really well. All right, I'm gonna start transferring things over. This is, sometimes I change my mind as I'm transferring, which is what you're going to see right here. I'm putting in my boxes to notate the gymnastics schedule. And then I'm figuring out that, you know what, what I really want is to have that double box. I wanna move that down. It's just not going to fit exactly right there. So let me just get this right here in place. Looking good. This is me thinking, thinking through twiddly fingers. I need one more for Thursday, last day of gymnastics. And then let's just move this one down here. I think that works really nicely, balances out some color. It's just a matter of getting it into the right place. I'm being very picky, which I normally am not, but because I'm still getting used to this uh, dashboard layout again, I think that's why. All right, I am going to add one more box and then I'm going to leave the rest of that right side pretty darn open because like I said, I still need to kind of determine what the schedule is going to be for the week. But I think this is a fun layout, a fun spread, and I love the Planner Babe neutrals. They just bring me so much joy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. Don't forget the link that I have for Wrong Wrong down below will save you extra on your order. So make sure to check that out. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. What an amazing crafty community. If you want to find out more about Patreon, you also can check a link for that down below as well. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.